Welcome back to the Golf Streamer. Hosted today by Shanna Richardson and Mike McLaughlin. And now, the Golf Streamer. Streaming news you can use. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to episode one of the Golf Streamer. Scouting news you can use. We're excited today to be interviewing our National Director of Cub Scouting Program, Mr. Anthony Berger. Anthony Berger, tell us a little bit about yourself. I've been scouting almost my whole life. I started my Cub Scout career in South Florida and uh, in, in South Dade County uh, in Miami. And then when we moved to uh, Fort Myers, uh, I became active in a troop. And um, throughout my whole, my whole life growing up, scouting has been a part of it. Uh, worked on summer camp staff, uh, learned that there was a profession behind the movement, uh, and decided that's really what I wanted to do. Most excitedly is uh, being able to uh, serve in this role the past uh, two and a half years as uh, we've welcomed girls into Cub Scouting and, and created the whole family scouting movement, which has been fantastic. Wonderful. So as, as you guys can tell, we're all coming at you from our offices and living rooms because we are all scouting at home right now. Um, so while we're all in this together, what can you tell us about how we can scout at home with the Cub Scout program? Well, you know, that's the great thing about Cub Scouting is that it's, it's already baked in to be at home. That's actually kind of a method. Uh, it actually is one of the methods that, that Cub Scouting uses, which is involvement of the family. Uh, so really, you know, when you look at our Cub Scout handbooks, um, the whole design of it is that you can just open this up and you can take your parent or other caring adults without any real, you know, extensive training and be able to do these fun activities with your child. Um, and with the advent of Scoutbook, and if you connect with your child in Scoutbook through the scouting app, it's really easy for a parent to be able to just log in, tell their den leader what they did while they've been at home, and then it's automatically approved because parents can sign off on their children's advancement in Cub Scouting. So it's really easy to knock out if you really want to knock out all the adventures on all the elective adventures uh, for, your, for your rank. That's great. Go ahead, go do that. You can do that all at home. And we've also, and because of these extenuating times, uh, we've, um, we're allowing for, we had an advancement policy about Weeblos, fourth and fifth grade uh, Weeblos, uh, their advancements had to be signed off by a den leader. Um, we've, ex we've kind of lifted that to make it a lot easier and accessible for families to be able to do scouting at home. In addition to, uh, we've extended the, uh, the time that, if you need to have another month or two to earn your wolf rank because you haven't finished it yet, you can do that past your second grade. You know, we, school systems are doing so many different things across the country. Some are, are extending school out. Some are doing remote learning. Um, and again, we just want to remove all the barriers that there possibly could be for a child to participate and to continue to enjoy the program with their family at home. What do you think is the benefit of Cub Scouting at home while they're also learning at home, doing, doing their schoolwork at home? How can that be oh, expanded yeah. upon? That's a, that's a great question because really the, the reality is that scouting is a partner in education. Uh, we are an education-based organization. Our, our mission is really not to teach kids how to go camping and outdoor skills. Our mission are really the soft skills of, of leadership development, personal fitness. Um, and so all that ties in really well, and a lot of the things that they learn in Cub Scouting, they're actually doing in school. Excellent. So can you tell us a little bit about virtual resources available for the Cub Scout packs and families at this time? Yeah, you know, I can't, I can't uh, talk <laughs> enough about it, which is Scoutbook. If, if your pack is not on Scoutbook, it definitely is something that you need to uh, start using. it. And the great thing about it is that uh, Scoutbook is connected with our internal databases, so all your membership records, all your advancement records, all that stuff is already in Scoutbook. So there's nothing for your pack really to do to convert to Scoutbook. All you need to do is log in and just start using it. Everything's already set up for you. So there's, you don't have to go to, if you're using a third party vendor, you don't have to upload any data. You don't have to do any of that stuff. It's all already right there. Um, so in the new den leader experience, which is uh, accessible for den leaders and those who have den leader um, admin rights, uh, it, it is a, a movement that we're making to provide all the resources you need to deliver the Cub Scouting program right in the palm of your hand. You don't have to go back and forth with a book and then you know your leader manual and then maybe some online resource. 
it's all right there at your fingertips. Um, and so more and more content is being delivered for not only just the den leader, but also eventually for parents and for the pack. How with the scout book app, do you think um, our unit level volunteers like the cub masters and the den leaders can, can help support the, the families that are actually participating in the adventures while they're at home? Yeah, so the, this is the key, right? And this is the messaging that we're, we're actually working on. And I think we delivered it, I want to say this week, um, on uh, help.scoutbook.com uh, is making sure parents understand that uh, the key for them is that there's a thing called a scouting app. The scouting app is that little red thing right there, all right? So that's what you're looking for when you're, this is what's called a native app, which means it lives on your phone and it uses your phone's operating system. So you have to download it from your app store or Google Play or however you download your apps because it's actually gonna use the, the driver in it. What I love about it is that we've moved to a single signer login. So all I need is my fingerprint. I don't have to remember all these username and passwords anymore for scouting. I just have to put my thumb on there. And so the scouting app is for parents. It is not for leaders. It's really designed to give parents that gateway and that, that very nice visual appeal to stay connected with their unit. So for example, I've got two kids in two different troops. My daughter's in one troop, my son's in another troop. What pops up is the joint calendar for both of their troop activities. I can actually go in there and RSVP for an event. Now you may say, well, we're not meeting now. Well, actually we are, like most troops. <laughs> We, uh, we met Monday night and we did a virtual meeting uh, and that meeting invite was in here. So you can RSVP. The link to the Zoom meeting was right in here. Um, and then I can, of course, track my, my, uh, both of my kids' advancements in the, in the SCAP program as well. So making sure that parents understand that the scouting app uh, is their gateway to ScoutBook, it's all, one, this, it's all the same thing, really helps during this time especially to stay connected with scouting and to be able to report back to, in Cub Scouting, what you're doing at home. That's a great idea. All right, Mike, any other questions? There's a lot of cool stuff going on in Scouting. What do you think is the, your most exciting thing about the future of the Scouting movement right now? Yeah, there's lots of things that we're working on that aren't really quite ready for prime time. Right. Um, I, I can tell you though, um, I'll share with you the, what's the most exciting part of uh, the national movement right now is how we're moving away from some of these old systems and processes that we would use to develop and design program. We used to, this used to be our delivery method, right? It still is, right? Which is, this is our program. It's in a printed bounded book. Moving forward, we're looking at taking our adventures online into a digital format. So that's something that people can do right now. We've dipped our toes in the water in this experience. So if you haven't looked at the preview adventures, they're found on scouting.org. It's open source. You don't need any passwords or anything like that. We have two new adventures, uh, the Protect Yourself Rules and Yo-Yo. And if you look at that format, what that gives us the ability to do is Yo-Yo isn't just for one rank. It's for wolf, bear, and weeblos. And this is going to be the future of how we deliver adventures. Uh, I give the example of fishing. Fishing is one of our most popular sports. Kids, uh, both boys and girls that are Cub Scout age, it always pops up as number one. What do you like to do or what would you like to do in the outdoors? And fishing always comes up number one. So why is it that we only provide fishing to third graders in our bear program? Wouldn't it be awesome if a pack could go fishing as a pack activity or even a pack meeting and everyone who go goes there can earn the fishing adventure. And the rank requirements, the, the requirements for that adventure are different based on that child skill level, right? So it's, it's grade specific and age appropriate content. So you could earn the fishing adventure every year if you wanted to, because it's gonna be a little bit different every year. We're able to do that with a digital delivery system where we can't do it with that. That's great. It sounds like it's gonna be more user friendly, which, is, which I think is so important in this generation. Yeah, and those are adventures that, that parents and unit leaders can go on to scouting.org now and participate in, right? In the future, you're going to see more of that. You're going to see more of our adventures online. 
Uh, you're going to see more of a method of being able to um, have digital content. Uh, we're still trying to figure out the details of how do we, you know, we're not getting rid of a book. Mm -hmm. We're still, you know, we still, there, there's value in, in a hand piece uh, uh, of a handbook. And the reason I say that is because schools who went purely digital with tablets only and got rid of all their books actually have noticed that their uh, students' performance decreased mm. and their uh, retention of knowledge decreased. So they're actually reverting back to uh, mm -hmm. having standard school books. Uh, so there's, there's some value to be said about a printed book. But maybe it's just our required adventures that are in a book. Uh, and then those required adventures, that's our core, right? We're not going to, we don't, we don't, we're not going to um, constantly need to mold and update our values, right? Mm -hmm. That's kind of, that's something that, that's our core. So that stuff can live in a book and, and have a longer, if you will, shelf life. But if there's a new adventure or something that, um, a trend that comes out that kids are just starting to swarm on all of a sudden, we don't have time to produce something in two years. This gives us the ability to, I can literally get something ready in about four weeks and have it delivered nationally um, on, a, on, a, on that digital platform so that we can capture some of these trends and not be so vested into it that we have to hold on to it for more than a year, right? So that trend goes away, that adventure goes away. So it's all about being what's called agile, where we actually are able to uh, create systems in place that we can change quicker and easier than feeling that we're trying to develop a program for the next 100 years. All right. So one last question before we let you go, while we're all here staying home and staying safe, any message you want to share with our families? Yeah, we've uh, actually recently been in contact with the CDC uh, asking if there's, what is it that scouts can do, right? Because every, this is in our DNA. Like we feel like there's a, there's a crisis. We need to go out and do something. Well, as counter as intuitive it is to our DNA, where well, the CDC just says, stay home. That's like the best thing that you could do is just encourage people to actually stay home. Uh, we've heard stories of kids that are still having play dates and going over to someone's house. And, and all that stuff is, is just prolonging this experience and mm -hmm. this pandemic. Uh, and so really sheltering in place, regardless if your community is mandated or not, really will cut back the time on this. And the CDC said that's the greatest help that they can they can have right now is making sure that people are at home uh, and that you just avoid contact with others. All right, excellent. So we should stay in and scout, right? Stay in and scout. You got plenty of fun stuff to do. All right, well, thank you for joining us today Thanks for the Gulf Streamer. Thank you for watching another episode of the Gulf Streamer.